everybody. It's Tim McCamus here in the shop again tonight. We've been working on a uh, composite video series through all the different aspects from making the composites all the way through repairing them and, and some other small tips and tricks. And tonight we're going to close this thing out with some care and maintenance uh, ideas that you guys can use to, to take care of these. So obviously when you get to this stage of uh, the car, you spent a lot of money on it. You've got a lot of time invested in it. You're going to use it in a uh, very rough environment. I mean, these cars are put through a lot of paces on the racetrack. So uh, there's several things that you can do to help with taking care of the composite part of the car. So what we're, since we're just talking about the composite series here, we're going to just touch on that. We're not going to talk about the other aspects of the car, but just uh, the, the body and wing and uh, any part of the exterior body of the car. We want to talk about how to take care of that. So one of the biggest things that you can do, one of the obvious tips that a lot of guys miss is keeping these uh, bodies out of the sun as much as possible. So, you know, you're not running these things on a rainy, cloudy day. I mean, you're running them when the sun's out and it's usually hot or it's uh, even if it's not that hot, the sun's still beating down on these things. And these bodies are made up of different types of fibrous material and a resin system of lots of different companies that, that make resin systems for this. They all have a, a different, what's, what's called a temperature threshold. And this stuff, when it sets out in the sun, it's basically just kind of baking this thing and baking it. And it's really hard on the body. It's hard on the exterior paint and it's hard on the, the gel coat that's under the paint. It's hard on the resin. Um, what you'll see um, is uh, on a carbon body, uh, you'll see a lot of print through when it sets out in the sun too long. Um, and what that is, is that's the, that's the sun heating up the, the inner core of the material and then imprinting the, the material back through the paint. So you'll see a little bit of that texture of the um, cloth material that's used to lay these up. So, you know, obviously you're setting up in the staging lanes. You can't, you can't do anything about keeping it out, in the, out of the sun there. But when you're back at the pits, um, definitely uh, uh, use uh, an awning. And if you don't have an awning on your trailer, uh, no big deal. Use one of those uh, 10 by 20 pop-ups to have the, uh, the car set under so it's just not out there just roasting in the sun. And uh, one of the big things that I see all the time is um, the guys, they'll pull their car back from a run and there might be three or four hours before it's time to uh, run the car again. So they put the car up on jacks and they bust it apart and inevitably they'll they'll have a large awning on the trailer they'll grab the front end and they'll carry it up by the the toter or, or the hauler or whatever it is or up in front of where the pit space is and they'll set that front end out there right in the sun and uh, you know those those front ends uh, you've got the weight of the hood at the back and you've got some some support there that's just got weight on it and what happens over time is that 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 heat will change the shape of that. So then when you put it back on, it really won't fit like it did the first time. So think about that when you're, when you're taking your front end off or you're setting the doors off on the door stand and all that stuff, you know, I see this almost every time at the event, the car's taken apart, all the guys are sitting around in front of the car in the shade, uh, eating hamburgers and, and drinking soda and, and waiting for the next run. Well, the front end and the doors and the deck lid and all this other stuff is laying out in front of the of the awning in, in the direct sunlight and it it just kills that stuff i mean it is just absolutely horrible on these parts so try to if, if you can't keep it under um an awning uh throw a blanket over it or something or throw some kind of a light covering over it just to keep that direct sunlight off of it from getting so hot and for the front end, you know, all of our front ends are all one piece where the hood and fenders are all made together. Put something up under the back of that front end and take that, that stress and that load off the very back edge of the hood there. It can be a plastic trash can or it can be a lawn chair. It can be one of them folding chairs. It can be anything that's the right height that you can slide underneath of there and just take some of the weight off of the back of that hood so it's not sitting there under its own weight and kind of melting into a new shape. So think about that stuff when you're, when you're coming back from a run and you need to take the car apart, so especially if there's something wrong with the car that you need to work on. Everybody just throws the front end out of the way and then they work on the car. 
and they don't even think about where that front end and doors are. So that's very important to do. Another thing is just cleaning the underneath side. So we get cars in here all the time that, um, that are in for updates and the, the bottom side of the front end has had oil sprayed on it multiple times. And these things are, they're, they're open cell. They're, they're a fibrous open cell. So um, what happens over time is that oil and, and tire residue and every other kind of crap that blows up from underneath there gets under that front end and it soaks into that bottom side of the material and it deteriorates that, that resin system. So it's just as important. I mean, you guys are always wiping and waxing down the outside of these things, but the bottom side of the, of the front end and the bottom side of the back of the car and even, even the wheel tubs, you know, the wheel tubs are composite too. They get rubber thrown up on them and they get just pounded with the water and rocks and everything else you can imagine. Sometimes we get cars in here and they have an inch and a half of rubber piled up on the bottom side of the tub. I mean, get in there and clean that stuff off because it's just, it's, it's excess weight on the car and it's just killing the composite parts on it. So clean those things from the underneath side. It, keep it clean on the outside, which is good, but stay on top of the parts that you don't see as much in the bottom side of that front end and the back of the car and the underneath of the wheelie bar tunnel and all that bumper area back there, it needs some attention too. So if you have some small screws back there that are fastening things in, they're gonna get loose over time, tighten those up because that's another thing that we see. The cars come in and the, the screw heads have worked all the way through the composite part. So now you've gotta put a washer on it to fill up that hole. Just tighten those screws up every once in a while. It'll take um, 30 minutes to go over the whole back of the car and just snug up all the little small 632 screws or 832 screws, anything in the back that, that's holding it together. It may be even um, some uh, quarter turn fasteners that need the springs adjusted on them a little bit. So maintenance that stuff, check all the fasteners on the car. If you've got something that starts to go wrong with it, jump on it and fix it real quick because it will save you in the long run. So keeping these things clean, keeping them out of the sun, um, keeping the, the all the little fasteners and stuff maintenance on them so that they work properly, cleaning all the rubber off of the back uh, panels and underneath the bumper and underneath the tubs, and um, just generally taking care of the bottom side of that uh, composite stuff will keep this body and this, this whole car as as, as you're running it, it will keep it in much better shape. So then at the end of the season, you don't have this laundry list of things that have to be done. You've taken care of them throughout the season and the car is in excellent shape. Like this car here, this, this, got, this got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of runs on it. It looks brand new. I mean, it's, it needs a few little things, but it's in excellent shape. We built this car probably eight, nine years ago, at least something like that. Um, and they, they take really good care of it. So it's in, it's in good shape. So a little bit of time, you know, you come back, you're always maintenance on the engine, the transmission, the rear end, all that stuff. Well, these composite parts need some maintenance too. It doesn't take long to do. You just got to check it over a little bit, spend some time on it, 30 minutes or an hour going over the whole thing. And you will be much happier in the long run because the car won't be falling apart on you. Um, it just, uh, it's just common sense on some of the stuff that you have to do but we see it all the time in here and we're glad to fix it for you, but you can save yourself a lot of headaches if you just take care of it yourself as you go along. So again, thanks for watching this series. Um, I hope you learned a little bit uh, about some composite stuff. We've got a lot of different composite parts on our website and um, if you guys ever have any questions, you can call us anytime, but you can uh, go through these videos and hopefully they'll give you a little better understanding of what the exterior body parts are made of and even the interior stuff. So uh, again, thanks for all the comments and uh, thanks for watching. So y'all have a good day.